Previously on the pitch, the contestants met with Mr. Sham and Mr. Hari Bhartia, the promoters for Domino's Pizza in India. As you know, in Domino's. And were given three delicious tasks. The contestants were dressed in Domino's uniforms and dove straight into the tasks. Back in the boardroom. Analyze each and every. While Avinav and Shreyas held their ground with strong presentations, the pressure got to Valerie and she broke down. We need two of you for the finals. But I'm on my way. In a shocking elimination, Valerie was outpitched. Hello and welcome to The Pitch, the meanest, keenest business show on television, where we meet India's greatest business icons, India's brightest young entrepreneurs, and of course, me. We started off with thousands of applications and whittled down to around 40 and then to a lean mean 12 and now we are down to just two. Hi, my name is Shreyas. I'm 27 years old. I'm an engineer MBA and I run a company called Level 10 Comics. And this is my story. She is right from childhood. He has been a very intelligent married student. He has been a ranked student right from his school days, nursery days to MBA, he's on the top. He's seriously a model for hard work, altogether. I think Pitch is one of the most entertaining shows on Indian television right now. I love the fact that he's being featured on Pitch. It gives great exposure to our company. I hope he wins the Pitch. Win. That's it. Win. Dude, don't come back home without winning. I'm sure he'll come out successful. Hi, I'm Abhinav Mehra. I'm 21 years old. I'm studying in Narsi Monji College. We make customized hand-painted designer shoes based around any theme that you like. Fizzy Goblet is the brand for you. Abhinav as a kid was uh, an extremely playful and uh, intelligent kid who never could sit in one place. Now, Fizzy Goblet is something that he's put his entire heart and soul into and I don't see him leaving it at all. He's constantly working with Lakshita on how uh, they can take it to the next level, ideating on new ideas, new designs, on how to market it. I feel the experience has done him a world of good. He has been with guys who are almost at times even 8 to 10 years elder to him. He was not shaken up or overawed by the uh, gravity of the situation at all. A lot of our relatives and all called and said that he talks so well because we've never really seen him like that. And uh, yeah, it was a pleasant surprise to see him talk so well in front of such big uh, people of the industry. I remember when he joined college, um, which was almost about five years ago, he um, one day came home with a t-shirt that said, I want to be a CEO at 21. And I laughed at that t-shirt and I said, there's a lot that goes into making a CEO at 21, but it seems like his dream is now coming to reality. All the best, Abhinav! Make Fizzy Goblet win! very excited about the finale. This is what I've been waiting for the whole time. A bit of excitement as well as uh, nervousness. It's the grand finale after all, so uh, a bit of butterflies in the stomach is always good. Congratulations and welcome to the finals. Thank you so much. Shreyas, how does it feel? Tell us a little about your journey. It's, it's been an amazing journey so far and uh, I've made some great friends on the way. Uh, we've had some fantastic times together, so uh, no matter what happens, I think uh, I go back home a richer man. Well said, congratulations. And Abhina, what do you have to say? Uh, it has been a great experience. Never expected to be selected first in the 12, then 10, then 9, now in the final two. 
the whole journey has been great meeting great business icons having tasks dividing ourselves in teams making great friends it, it was it was a brilliant uh, brilliant time shooting this congratulations both of you two you. very very bright young men two very diverse ideas two very diverse working styles and more importantly they're going to be against each other to decide who takes home funding of up to 5 crore rupees for their business and of course two very diverse businesses so wish you all the best thank, thank you so thank much you. We are here at the ITC Sonar in the city of Joy, Kolkata. And the ITC Sonar, this wonderful, wonderful hotel, embodies something that is very, very unique. Unique because it's called responsible luxury. I am told that this is the first hotel in the world to be registered by the UNFCCC to be registered for carbon emission reductions. Now that's fantastic. ITC is a company that truly needs no introduction and. This year it celebrates its centennial year. We are delighted that the finals of the pitch in its first season coincides with the centennial year of ITC so it gives us great pleasure and it's a great honor for you gentlemen to meet and get your final task from Mr. YC Deveshwar himself. Mr. YC Deveshwar is the chairman and chief executive officer of ITC Limited. He was appointed as director on the board of the company in 1984 and became a chairman in January 1996. Thank you very much. First of all, so thank you ever so much for being here. It is a very very important moment for the show. It's the conclusion of the first season. And as you can see on these two young faces, it's a very 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 important moment for them. So, Mr. Deveshwar, they want to hear a lot of things from you. So, could you start with the uh centennial year and what's been happening? Uh, 100 years uh for a company. It's a significant milestone. and that shows that uh the company has had the ability to reinvent itself over a period of time because change as they say is the only constant and the company to be able to uh reinvent itself and remain relevant and contemporary and service its stakeholders and satisfy them uh it's a testimony to that ability you know if i look back uh, the first 50 years and this is also a lesson to you the company had a top line of about 38 crores and a bottom line of say 1 and 1/2 crores the next 25 years uh this was the platinum jubilee year the top line was around 800 crores and the bottom line 8 crores now you see you come to the centenary year the top line jumps to uh nearly 27000 crores and the bottom line is more than 4000 crores so you can see there is an acceleration of value creation over a period of time i am very proud that itc is the only company in the world that uh, having uh, embraced a triple bottom line approach to conducting business it is not maximization of shareholder value alone which of course is very essential but along with that to create value for society at large of which you are a part is a very important component of ITC's vision and ITC therefore measures itself on three dimensions the economic dimension the kind of economic capital it forms for the society the kind of ecological capital firstly not to hurt the environment but more than that how to refurbish that ecological capital and then to create social capital I have to say that I'm very proud as a leader of ITC that ITC is the only company in the world that is carbon positive what it means is that we sequester through our operations twice the carbon that we emit into the environment then we are a water positive company we already short of water there are 50% of our agricultural land is water stressed we as an organization although we are in a paper business which is a water guzzler we create more fresh water resource three times than the water that we consume then we are a positive waste recycling company which means that we recycle the waste that itc produces but also it brings waste created by others and then recycles it and what's more we create sustainable livelihoods for more than 5 million people and many of these are in the tribal areas 
the disadvantaged sections of our society. You've been with the ITC since 1968 and there's been a journey, uh, especially in the last 14 years. Uh, would you like to share that with us? Yes, I, um, I've been, uh, with the exception of between 91 and 94, Sri Madhav Rao Sindhya, when he became Civil Aviation Minister, he uh, challenged me to come and contribute to uh, Indian society by, by turning around the uh, national carrier. And uh, I did do that, I left ITC, but rejoined it in uh, 1994. Uh, yes, I uh, I graduated from IIT Delhi. Wh which year would that be? In? That was 1968. Uh, and I joined ITC straight out of college. Okay. Uh, and since then, I have been um, with ITC. And I have had the opportunity of running different businesses. I joined the packaging and printing business of ITC first. Uh, and I rose to be the head of printing and packaging. Then I was uh, asked to uh, run the hotels business. Curiously, until then, I had not even stayed in a five-star hotel myself. <laughs> and then later on, ran the tobacco business, and then went on to run uh, Air India, and got back into ITC. Uh, by '96, I became chairman. And since then, uh, we have uh, you know, tried to transform the company, got our agri-business, supported the Ichopal initiative that was brought by Mr. Shiva Kumar, who was the chief executive at that time of our agribusinesses division. The rural contribution of ITC, empowering the small and marginal farmers through a combination of digital technology and uh, human and physical infrastructure is the only example of its kind. Uh, and it has made a big difference to the farmers. It's a Howard case study. Uh, for the last 10 years, it's been taught at Harvard. It has won us many, many awards internationally for the innovation uh, in uh, creating value in rural areas. You said that when you passed out of uh, IIT, you, the first job that you got was at the ITC. It's been uh, 40 years now. But there's a little story that says that you almost didn't get the job. Yeah, that's true. An interview was held at IIT Delhi and I got late for the interview because my scooter broke down. I had borrowed a scooter to appear for the interview and uh, our placement officer was Commodore RHD Singh. As he came out of the door, uh, I ran into him and said, Sir, please uh, give me an opportunity. I am sorry I am late because my scooter broke down. And he brushed me aside. He said, no, the time is over, interviews are over and we are going for lunch. So I kept on pleading. Because those days, jobs were very difficult to get by. Mr. Randeria from ITC, he heard my arguments, mm -hmm. and he said, no, no, I'll interview this young man. I was taken in, I was so nervous. What were you wearing? No, no, at that time I was not, I was normal, but I was, it was subsequently that there was an interview held. Right. And, I, and I was told that, now, First interview, you've been lucky. Right. But next interview, you know, you should wear a suit. And be on time. And be on, <laughs> be on time. So, uh, I had to borrow because I didn't have a suit those days. You know, so, you borrowed a suit. I borrowed a suit from a friend. And I was so shy <laughs> that I didn't wear it till I reached the uh, gate of the place. And there was a sort of wooded area with trees. And I changed myself into the suit. And <laughs> And this is quite I, a story. Yeah, it is, you know. So what, what do you do in your spare time for fun? Whatever little spare time I have, I spend with my grandchildren. I do anything to be with my grandchildren. I see a, your, your face takes a different view and, and twinkle uh, in the eye when you talk about your grandchildren. Oh, that's true, I have to say. It. Yeah, almost, you know. I, I, I tell everybody uh, <laughs> that, you know, wait for a grandchild. Uh, you will forget your own children. He was very gracious to give us a lot of his time in terms of uh, specifically talking to us, giving us advice on what we should be aiming at, giving us inputs on what uh, young entrepreneurs like ourselves should gun for. It was extremely motivating and humbling at the same time. The question to you is, what else can we do with the each of all model to further empower the farmers? Thank <laughs> you.
extremely difficult right now. <laughs> I'm planning a blank at this current.